Pisces, don't get lost in the storm this month, okay? It doesn't matter if things feel uh, out of control. You're like, ah, it doesn't matter because you have a lot of clarity that will show up. You have a lot of new opportunities. I feel like a lot of maybe contact, emails, phone calls, excitement, conversations, like a lot of fast energy. I have an eight of wands. This is the fastest card in the deck. So like this with the Ace of Cups and the Magician Reverse. Two things about this Magician Reverse. First, you don't need to do a lot to get what you want, okay? The universe is already figuring out how to bring it to you easy and quick. You don't need to do a lot, okay? Set your intentions, of course. You know, hold the vibration, like stay in the good lane. But like my point is you don't need to be like out running around, like trying to find it, working so hard. Not, it's just like, bitch, chill, slow down, okay? Also, when the opportunities show up, I feel like it's layered. I feel like you have an idea first, then there's a conversation that sparks something and it connects and then like an opportunity shows up and then there's like another offer and it's layered. But with the Page of Pentacles reverse and the Ace of Swords, with the strength card here, it's like, remain calm. Remain calm, slow down. You don't need to decide everything today. You don't need to plant your seed right now. It's like, hold it. Hold the seed, figure out where's the perfect place to plant it, figure out what you really wanna be doing with your time, energy, money, etc., and then decide. You also have an Ace of Cups here, which I fucking love. So some new romance for some of you, especially beside the Eight of Wands, it's like, Cupid, Cupid's arrows, like, oh, right through the heart and just boom, fell in love. Um, or just really good creative downloads and excitement moving forward with different creative projects. I have your card here, um, Hangman Reverse with the Eight of Swords. And this is yours too. King of Cups Reverse with the Lovers here and the Four of Wands. So if there are some relationships, people, contracts, agreements that are falling through, don't stress. It looks like transformation is happening. We're very soon starting eclipse season. So you will notice people, places, things, projects just go, they're gone. It's like, wow. Like I didn't expect that person to be gone, just gone. Um, or that project, boom, canceled last minute. It's like, but that's the goal. That's the point of the energetic eclipses is to shut down things that don't benefit you and to quickly open up new things. So just go with the flow, okay? You are a mutable water sign. You literally live in the water. It's like go with the flow. Flow with the water. Follow the stream, okay? Two of Swords is saying, the only enemy here is yourself, is your mind. You thinking you're stuck. You thinking you're trapped. It's like, you're not. It's literally in your mind. So like... Chill, slow down. There's deep transformation. The eclipse season will clear out a lot of old people, projects, things that don't benefit you for this next cycle because you've been focusing on leveling up. You've been focusing on the emotional balancing, etc. So now the universe sees that and says, okay, perfect. Now we have this eclipse wormhole. It's time to cut off and start and like reconnect and fix everything for you. It's like, just let things happen, okay? Four of Wands, you will have a lot to celebrate anyways. So like, why complain? Why stress yourself out? And Eight of Swords is saying you probably will feel stressed. <laughs> you probably will feel triggered and fearful and ah. It's like, why? Just chill, slow down. Let the change happen itself. You don't need to do anything, okay? <laughs> there you go again. The Death card and the Five of Wands Reverse with the Ten of Wands Reverse. With the World Reverse. It's like, these changes are already happening. All of the shifts are already happening and you don't need to do a lot. You don't need to fight with other people. It's like, if you notice their energy getting combative, if you notice other people lying, if you notice things, uh, if it feels heavy, it's like, I recognize this feels heavy. I'm not gonna do fucking nothing because Chris told me not to. I'm just gonna chill and I'm gonna let the universe clean up this bullshit person and remove them from my life. I don't need you in it. I don't like you. All you need to do is what? Tell the universe, I don't like this bitch and let them take them away, okay? There's a lot of change happening here. We really, really, really need to figure out there's a lot of change happening. You really need to figure out, and there's not a rush, but I just mean like with all that new available space, what do you want to replace that 
kind of energy with. So if you're clearing out people, what kind of new people do you want to invite in? We're now in Aries season. We just passed the Aries new moon, a huge opportunity to establish your goals for the energetic year because Aries season is the first zodiac. It's a new energy cycle that just started. Welcome to the actual new year, okay? So what do you want to manifest? What do you want to invite in this year? Because the Aries new moon is the first new moon of that energetic year. So you have an opportunity now to say, I'm breaking these old cycles. I'm breaking these old addictions, dependencies, behaviors, these ideas, these people, these things that don't benefit me. I'm dropping them and I'm starting fresh. Well, you can't just jump. You need to establish intentions. So if you want support, if you want help, take the new moon workshop. The link is in my bio. We just passed the new moon, so it's still really powerful. But like, you're exhausted and you're done dealing with the bullshit. Like, you're exhausted. You don't need to continue to deal with the bullshit. And you have a two of cups here also. And the temperance card, which is saying like, go with the flow. Those new connections will show up, but you need to establish the intentions. What kind of new energies do you want in your life? What kind of new jobs? What kind of new people, projects, etc.? That's why you establish your intentions on a new moon. This is the first new moon of the new year. So use the energy, okay? Um, and it's a pay what you can workshop. It's a home video. It's under 30 minutes. Like, trust me, click on the link in my bio. I will support you trying to set those intentions with better clarity. A lot of old triggers may be coming up. Three of swords, ten of swords reverse. It's like a lot of old triggers, old ideas, fears, anxieties, maybe coming back, doesn't matter. Like the knight of cups here reverse and the three of wands. I feel like you have these new opportunities, these new offerings from other people that are coming, but they're not expected because maybe you've been focusing your energy, your time, your attention into one box. But now from outside that box, new surprises are showing up, new people, things that you didn't expect. Also last minute changes with maybe some projects, people, collaborations, etc. It's like, now you have an opportunity, there you go, rebirth, new work, okay? Eight of coins, new work, new projects. The empress is saying she's pregnant, she's ready to birth a new project, birth a new identity, etc. But there's not a rush and you can't force it because it's like a pregnancy, like it happens when it happens. But this, the tower card, this is saying big surprises, last minute changes, maybe shocks that you didn't expect, but they actually open new doors for you. And the three of coins behind it is saying seven of coins too, and the nine of swords reverse. Perfect. With the page of fucking wands, you have new opportunities to create new systems, to create new collaborations, to create something new. Why? Because you are dropping three of coins reverse old people, projects, collaborations that don't actually benefit you. The seven of coins is saying, be patient because your payout will come, but maybe not from the people or projects that you expected it to come from because that's the last minute change. Maybe that's the surprise or whatever. But the point is, nine of swords reverse, don't stress. Instead, use that energy to get creative and excited about the future because you have a lot of new shit coming. I promise you, Pisces, okay? Please, this is free. The energetic exchange is to tag other Pisces or other friends on my page or something so they can find their horoscope also. Other people want help and support, okay? Also, if you are interested in more support and you wanna see your year ahead, the 2022 forecast is now available on my website. Click on the link in my bio. And um, yeah, it includes the year ahead for your sun, moon, and rising, and a monthly overview and a yearly overview. So take that resource. It's really helpful. I love you, Pisces. I will see you very soon. Ciao. <laughs>